And we're broadcasting live from Hard Crash Micro Hard Washington, home of the loudest and most caffeinated strung out stadium in the league. So grab your Vente double shot, non fat, skinny chai iced tea lattes, and try not to let your ears bleed as we get ready for kickoff. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Cardinal Sins go up against the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. Lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Bricks. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Third down and ten. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Oh, no good. Now that punter's going to find a cutoff bison head in his bed. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. and three just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out first down and it's first and ten talking about butterfingers he should have had that one second down and ten one's gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly third down and five <laughs> and that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense and you better believe they will and it's first and ten One in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler.
And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. I hope some lucky fan gets to catch the ball. This is going to be a great kick. With how hard he's going to have to kick it, they'd probably die, Bricks. Pass me the ball. And it's good. You know, Grin, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good. Huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stomping it right there. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> First down and forever. Second down in a mile. And he picks up about six on the play. Third down and forever. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And it's first and ten. Ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. his mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. And the defense jumps outside. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service located just off the Beltway exit five. Second down and two. And the offense jumps offside to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and long. Oh, sure, now we can. 
catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and 10. With a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Second down and six. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. Look at that little mutant run! Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham! Oh, boy. First in and three. And that's a run for no gain. Second and three. And the QB might as well just bury himself now. Be Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo ground. And the defense was all over that fumble. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 40. He's running out of gas now. The 20. No touchdown today! Looks like that defender ate his bleedies this morning. First in and three. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. He could go all the way. He's at the 30, and the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and 10. 
And that takes us to the two minute warning. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down and seven. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Third down and nine. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good shot. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Passes for a touchdown. Man, those bones can boogie. The lack of muscle fat organs and skin really makes it easy for him to dance. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work trips. And this guy is on fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. And that's a nice run for a first down. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. First in, and that'll be their final timeout. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays, and he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. 
It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, the defender just knocked the ball loose. No, that'll wake you up, then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Uh, unless you're in a sleeping contest. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Target more often. Greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spiral, and the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and two. Folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he's running like a moose. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that'll bring up second and one. Nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, the 
that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Second down in a mile. Great run for a nine yard gain. Third down and long. Caught for the first down. First down. First down and three. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. That's a catch for a four yard gain. Third down and six. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Down and, and they have no offense. Jump on sides and 
and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And that was a huge run right there. Hey, speaking of huge runs, Rex White. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty. He zigged when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. And it's first and ten. Defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your aunt Bertha has some balls. What a. Yeah, she have a right? And the defense was bringing him like a book. Oh. What on that guy? And it's first and ten. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. Some mint shoes before this game slips away. I was wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. When you put them on, just like chicken skin shoes. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref on the misery. First down in a mile. He stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down in a mile. Call man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in the solicitation. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Hey, man, I was scared of a little I am a hell of a sinner. Second down and ten. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And this has all Thank you. I do my part. And 
It's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down and ten. Third down and the punter is warming up. He had it for a second there. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he's off to the races. Timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. to stop the clock. They have one run. Second down and ain't gonna happen. And he's still through the defense on that play and picks up a nice chunk of yardage. The defense calls their last time out. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Brick? First down and one.
Ken Blitrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhar Corporation. They get it right every up.